it. All right, guys, welcome to a, another video. Today, we're going to be unboxing, fitting, and giving you a two-week review from a nutrition coach and just your average functional fitness, CrossFit, YouTuber, and fitness warriors perspective review. So right off the bat, the Airwave is a performance mouthpiece. Now, this is one of those things that I saw maybe about a year ago, and I was like, yeah, that's definitely a gimmicky thing. They just got a bunch of influencers to wear this thing. They're trying to make a bunch of sales, etc. I doubt something like that could actually make a difference or actually you know be worthwhile in terms of investing in never really paid attention to it was not gonna use my money on it or whatever so I'm gonna give you the straight just hardcore facts about this thing what I think about it I'm not giving you a gimmicky review they did send this out for me to test out but I'm by no means told what to say or anything they literally said say whatever if you think it's horrible then say so <laughs> so right off the bat guys you're gonna get yourself the airwave mouthpiece in a little hard hard shell carrying case along with a little carabiner slap it on your gym bag and then the mouthpiece itself now i threw it on on the top teeth thinking that it was like the old school football mouth guard type days definitely not that's not how you wear it guys you wear it on the lower teeth anyways once you rip it out of the packaging the first step is going to be to fit the mouthpiece it's super easy but just make sure you read the instructions before you do it read them i can't stress this enough First thing you're gonna do is get a paper towel and you're gonna wet it and you're gonna stick it in between all these little creases that you see here. This is gonna prevent the mouthpiece from caving in on itself and I found this out the hard way when I did it and then they started to cave in and melt together late thankfully i caught it just in the nick of time but i can see why they tell you to do this but just guys i can't stress this enough read the instructions before you decide to fit it next is going to be wet another paper towel and get a piece of uh, or a plate stick the paper towel over the plate and then you're going to stick your mouth guard straight into the middle of it fold it over and just make it a nice little square Next is going to be to heat it up, and I believe I heated it up for a minute or 60 seconds depending on the power level of your microwave, but throw it in there, heat it up. Um, but again, guys, read the instructions. I cannot stress that enough or else you're going to jack this thing up and you're going to have to wait a whole nother two weeks. Next step is to get a little piece of, uh, get a plate. Fill it up with some cold water and set it down. Once your mouthpiece is done, you're gonna throw it in there for maybe two to five seconds. Now be very careful because the top paper towel is gonna be hot and then once you take out the actual mouthpiece, be careful taking the paper towels out of the little creases because they're gonna start to fold and cave in on themselves. So as soon as you do it, throw it in that cold water, two to five seconds, maybe 10 max, and throw it into your lower teeth immediately now from this step on you're literally going to hold it in your mouth for two minutes and what you're going to do is you're going to want to push your tongue down on it your teeth on it just bite up against it make sure it's nice and fitted push with your fingers all up against the mouth guard on the side of your teeth you want it as fitted as possible that way it feels as natural as possible now i thought this thing was going to gag me for sure not once did it do that so far yet in this video and basically what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to throw it in your mouth tongue under that red bar you saw and they advise that you take it for a run or a workout immediately after fitting just so it gets tighter and fits tighter now i decided to go for my normal functional workout today just so happened to be a bench day and a couple other things and right off the bat guys just the clinching down on this thing during bench during those last like couple reps to where like you're grinding and you normally grind your teeth came in clutch here's what i had to say about that all right so quick little <laughs> testimonial first workout with this bad boy the airwave as you guys know and i must say it's freaking gnarly first workout in already metcon post metcon i must say that and i already am loving the thing i'm not even gonna say what i feel yet just because it's the first metcon i'm gonna let like maybe two or three more days go by and tell you what i feel but so far i am i'm sold i'm thinking about hitting them up and telling them how much i love this so far just on the first session alone i am not gonna lie to you guys coming into this i was like this is gonna be a gimmicky thing i'm not gonna like it i'm not gonna be able to promote it to you guys i'm just gonna straight up tell you guys what i think about it and holy crap first exercise in the workout loved it metcon on another level like again give me give me two or three more days let's fast forward this video i love it love it so once that bad boy's fitted and it's on your lower teeth take it out for a run or a workout guys that's the best way to get it tighter and get it fitted and that's exactly what i did i decided to take it out for a run and i was so concerned because i was like i'm gonna freaking gag i'm gonna throw up during football whenever i was younger we'd wear it on the top t 
teeth and I'd have to cut it so short because it would always gag me but not the case at all wearing it on the lower teeth just feels a lot more natural and it feels really good and the breathing felt amazing guys and real quick I want to give a shout out to one of my subscribers Chris Andrews who said he has the airwave and took it out for a run and he said it helped him and it made him actually produce a lot of spit I didn't have that but shout out to that subscriber he's always in the comments and if you guys are in the comments ever I'll shout you out in another video but anyways guys I didn't have the gag reflex whatsoever it felt super natural and honestly I thought I was going to be going out for just a nice chilled run but I ended up kind of hauling butt and I feel like that's just because I was breathing a lot better and I can definitely say that this thing helped me breathe it just felt good Woo. workout done just went with the run with this bad boy thought for sure the boy was gonna freaking gag and throw up <laughs> running with a freaking thing like this but it felt so good and so comfortable the breathing was awesome love it all right guys so next up was putting this thing through a workout now this case is super clutch keeps everything nice and clean throw it in your mouth go work out now it only took me a few minutes to get used to this thing i know some people it takes like a couple workouts for me i got used to this thing within minutes i loved it i literally wear it the entire workout i literally only take it out to maybe talk on the phone or just talk to the camera when i'm filming videos but it opens the airway a lot better for you to breathe that's like the one thing i've noticed a lot and i feel like that's why I'm so comfortable wearing it. I constantly take this out on runs and I've worked out with it every single workout since I got the thing. I'm on week two now and yeah. So I'll just quickly go over what you're supposed to do. So wear it on the lower half of your teeth, place your tongue under that red bar in the middle you see there, and then bite down on it during lifts and breathe. Basically what it does is it opens the airway for better respiration. It's gonna decrease your respiratory rate, which is gonna reduce that lactic acid production, which we all know doesn't feel good, and it's gonna increase your recovery. That's badass, I love the thing. Also, it reduces cortisol, which is a stress hormone, which is a lot better for recovery, which is what you get from biting down on it. On top of that, it helps you clench to get the benefits of preventing grinding. I've noticed myself grinding on my teeth whenever I'm hitting power cleans, snatches, or power snatches, and it's helped so much with that. And I feel like it just kind of like gets you more aggressive for lifts. If anything, it gives you that mental edge a little bit. For $39, guys, which is super affordable, I honestly don't think you can beat it. Marcus Philly, who is a big guy posting about this thing for months, maybe years now, maybe a year or so, talked about him having a special mouthpiece he had for competing that was ridiculously expensive that this thing compares to that so he's actually a well-known competitor and honestly all in all i think it's worth the 40 dollars. it's not a gimmicky thing if you grind your teeth that alone is going to be worth the 40 dollars. on top of that it's going to help you breathe better so my review go pick this thing up that's going to go ahead and do it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed like share comment subscribe as always breakfast clip ctg we out the speed